Well, howdy, howdy. That's uh, hello, hello for those who don't speak American much like myself. And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Returning to Armadillo. That's Armadillo again for those who can't translate that. Um, I've been told not to do the accent, but I'm going to still venture in small pockets from time to time. Why Armadillo? Well, there's a whole hell of a lot here to do now. I say a hell of a lot. A few things to do here. So let's begin. Welcome back to Red Dead. And thank you for joining me. You shall not give false testimony except for profit. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. At the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Ah, uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke, but this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, a con man at his finest. All right, well, we'll just we'll just park the horse. And worry about him later. Come on in, Dickens. Am I driving? I guess I am. Let's go out of the way, everybody. Coming through. Yep, yep. Just knocked over a horse. Oh God! I just broke the law. Oh God, no! I uh, I ran over a horse and killed a person. Well, you've got to live and learn. Well, apart from that guy, he didn't, he didn't get to. He should have learned to get out of the bloody way is what should have happened. All right, come on in. That's a little better. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Good week in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with the collar. Okay, I think as I'm speeding through this, he keeps cutting dialogue. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attempt to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? The last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Diago or Cassio make. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret <laughs> that. What happened there? Something, something just hit something else. We came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the pain. Right, so I'm going to be the stooge. Nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I see, I see. I'm the plant. See you I'm the one who makes his product look 
like it works. Wonderful. I thought, I, know, I thought that was a chest up there, but no, it's just another rock. Okay, go to Dick, West Dickens' show. We're going to get a, a passage of time change here. He hasn't got long to set up. Ridgewood Farm. God, I do love this game. You know, a lot of positive comments about the way the game looks and, and the gameplay as well, obviously, compared to so many more modern games that come out these days. It's just, just so much better. I don't know why, the, well, I do know why they abandon putting attention into detail like that, because it's quicker and cheaper to make something else. Oh, I see. Friends, hardworking souls of... Chola Springs, gather round, gather round. Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. <laughs> what a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Well, I gotta be honest. It's not a problem, is it? For a man of my talents. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye is so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people. Look at the size of his arms. That guy's been eating cans of spinach. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. Okay. One shot can be fired for each bullet in your gun. Oh, wait, you can now lock multiple targets. Shoot the hat from the sky after it's thrown. Got it. Press R, S while your weapon is drawn to activate dead eye. Got it. Okay, go on. Draw your gun. I shot it three times. What a move. Hey! Hey! You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They don't work like that around here, mister. Come on! Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Prepare for Oh, oh, we're actually doing it. Hold LT to lock. Oh, LT, that's that one. Press RT to punch. Uh, pure punch combos can be followed with a ground tackle. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting this. Wait a second. Why am, why am I just? I'm putting you down. What happened? To... <laughs> it's just fucking go. What? Uh, I hope it goes back into the fight. Okay, that does. Okay. Punch combos can be followed with a ground tackle. When's it happening? You're going down. All right, no need. I don't know. Job done. Second time around. I'm sorry about the first one. That was terrible. Do not let this opportunity pass you by. Look, he's over there. Go get this. Oh, here we go. He's got a gun. Don't do it, son. Who the hell do you think you are? Host of that puppy. You're alive. Okay, once dead eye, uh, dead eye, once in dead eye, you target opponent's, uh, sorry, your, uh, target your opponent's gun and shoot it out of his hand. Oh, I love that. What? I shot you in the hand. Okay, um, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. How do you, just, it just automatically did that. Okay, that was better, but it, to be honest, it was the same thing. The kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. You ain't gonna kill that thumb, my friend. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes, head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. Uh, he can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. Uh, he's uh, most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, um, by day, oh, but oh, wait a minute. Horse breaking jobs are now available. Oh, horse breaking. I get you. So we just break in a horse or two. Well, we know how to do that. Meet Seth in Coots Chapel at S on your map all right uh let's go let's go check out how far away these things are so we've got we've still got this water and honesty purple area over there um, but there is also back at armadillo oh there's s so we've got s and m <laughs> the marshal is there as well um what else have we got we've still not been to the movie house um the general store we've done the doctor's office we've done Gunsmith store. Do you know I haven't explored what I can do there? Five finger fillet. Okay, okay, that's a mini game. Uh, poker I've done, but time to head home. That would be nice if you could just fast travel like that from the map. But no, you've got to do this. You've got to. No, you've got to do this. You've got to go into your kit improved campsite, which you can't do inside a town. Oh. Excuse me while I leave the limits of the town. When does a town become a town? Like, what What would be its boundary? Okay, well, we found it. Okay, travel to... Actually, I should take a quick save here as well. Uh, travel to... Armadillo, Armadillo! I'm still quite early in the story, of course. We're only the third episode in, which is wonderful. All right. It is a shame that the fast travel changes the the time of day, but then it kind of makes sense. I'm sure if I'd have ridden here on horse, it would not have though. That's the only thing I would I would like to complain about. Okay, we'll go visit the marshal and see what the good man wants. 
There's a purple thing in there as well. Oh, something's going down. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Hey, oh, you know, it's a posse. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Always wanted to be part of a posse. A little alliteration there. Hey, wait up! Let's hope it's not a smelly posse. Let's go! Oh. Oh, which weapon am I going to pick this time? I've got to, I think I'll take out my carbine. I've got to go check in for, for, for new weapons, of course. I you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed Funko artist I've never met. Where we got smoke on the horizon, is this it? You and Eli go check it out. Well, what's all this? Okay, more murdering settlers. I can't skin these horses. Shame, shame. Now, what am I supposed to do? Oh, the poor. Right, this is this is disgusting. We'll find those varmints. Okay, I've, I've checked it out. What, what, what's going on? Is anyone going to say anything? What am I supposed to find here? Right, I don't know what I'm doing. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal! That was it. I just had to stay on the horse. Oh, now I get off it again. <laughs> See, I was already ahead, the, ahead of the game. That's how good an inspector I am. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Ooh, we got a Winchester. You've acquired a new weapon in the same category as the one you own. Check the weapons tab on the pause menu to select to the new weapon. Alright, that's it, the Winchester repeater. I don't know how much, like, damage it does more than the... the original re re repeater thing I had. Who cares? The Let's game's go. introducing the fact that you can have new weapons to me. Even though we've seen that that was a gun shot. But let's not quibble. Alright, fellas. Don't worry, don't worry, all is well, I'm back. The ominous Boy, graveyard. This don't look so good. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. More vultures. Do we should we take the vultures out for a nice meal? It seems to be selecting Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm 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 diverting from the story. It seems to be selecting the quick draw without me triggering it. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on!
Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a second. I've got, I've got, wait, 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 I've got birds to pick up. Yeah, you, you hurry. I've got a, I've got a vulture to skin. I love that, that, that bass music. Oh, God damn you, Johnson. All right, well, I guess we can't do that in this mission then. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll quick skip the to where I got to. All right, we'll try that again. No shooting vultures, no getting distracted. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I ruined it, I ruined it. Still smoke. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. All right, let's go. No time for looting. Just shoot. Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Place looks deserted. Search the outhouse and the shed. Ah, uh, surely will. See, I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> in the shed. All right. Oh god. Do I? Do I? I get all the good jobs, don't I? Or should I say I get all the jobs done? at the barn oh here we go here we go oh everyone's sprinting on I better catch up lest the mission fail again there's no good reason for that to be boarded up break that door down the rest of you get your guns ready oh that's a good point there's two dead things inside anyway shoot the boards off I mean please do I have to do all the shooting around here <gasps> oh no. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Okay, sorry, a little jump for joy there. Where are you, fella? We got him. Oh, all right, well, we did get him. He's still firing, though. What the hell's going on here? This man's invincible. Hello? All right, the aim is, the aim is screwed up. Oh, my God, there's loads of them in here. I'm going to have to take cover. Straight in the mush. Take that one, because I was waiting for the headshot. What the hell? Look over there. Okay, we've got four inside, two upstairs. Whoa, it's silly what, John? Making it look easy. Another jump for joy, because I keep pressing the square button, thinking it's a reload. Where are you, fella? Where are you? No, no, no. Come on, come on. No. Barred behind the door. Can I, can I move it? Oh, we can open the armoire. Slightly distracted by shiny things. Perfect cover for a theft. A bit of daylight wobbly. We got snake oil. Right, I don't think we can move that chair because just because game. Seemingly, I can't walk through that door. You shot first, my friend. A 
we've got a lot of we've got a, a load of bodies to uh, to loot. I like that. I think there was an option in Red Dead 2 where you you didn't have to um, you, you you didn't. Oh, what's the word I'm looking? What are the words I'm looking for? You didn't have to go through the the looting animation. Sometimes that happened in this game. You and me gonna have ourselves fun. Gone, son. Gone. Down. Oh, thank God. One left. How do we do this? We've got to be quick on the draw. Can't let the family die. Oh, God, no. Oh, I failed because of the hostage. Oh, good lord. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to let the dead eye do that. Oh, let me try from checkpoint. Really? We've got to go back to the... Okay, we're good. We're good. Right. Let me try that again then. Oh, I didn't realise we had a, a, a camera view from behind. Come on, boys. Make me work for it. Ah, oh, the Wilhelm again. I love that. Yeah, it's doing it by itself, and I don't like that. I want to be able to make those marks on my own, thank you very much. See, it did it by itself again. Just, just making sure. Right, we've got four in here. I'm going to go back to the uh, the revolver. Shot in the buttocks. <laughs> I mean, come on. Right, it's, this is awkward because I'm not quite sure why it's do, it's it's doing the the dead eye by itself. It's not supposed to. Or I don't want it to. No, no, don't do it. Look, it's going to shoot her. Yes, yeah, so was I, my dear. Uh, my dear, listen to me. Okay. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shit I out just back. couldn't trust it. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable things to me. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Okay, they did unspeakable things. Well, look, I don't know what I don't know what I can say. Get up and try to move on. Doesn't work, does it? Pathetic. I'm going, I'm going back for where was the snake oil? It was in here somewhere. There we go. The armoire. Posh word for a cupboard. Closet. Wardrobe. Right, in this case, there was just cash, but I'll take the cash. No dead things. Dead things and rounds make me a happy man. Listen to me. I'm so, I'm so, I'm such a hard man, you know? I'm so tough. I'm nails. It's just the kind of guy I am. Desensitized to the world of violence. I need it more than you now. Okay, we already... Oh, no, we didn't get this guy. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme give what you got. We could do unspeakable things to your dead body if you're not... Oh, look at this place, though. 
you know, in the days where I didn't really spend much time, I mean, they, this game did, but I didn't really spend much time decorating and filling in things, just random items on shelves, you know, the wooden crates, these old jars, mason jars, a feather duster, of course. It just, it looks, it makes it feel so much more authentic. Sacks of what? Sacks of, is that flour? Oh, corn. Of course it is. Right, I need to, I need to find it. I need to find an exit. Every now and again you get that hissing sound of a, of a, or a, well, rattling sound, I should say, of a rattle, a rattlesnake. Gimme all you got. This ain't nice. I know. I, I have to. I have to get them all. It's like it's like playing like Pokemon or something. I simply must loot everybody. All right, I'm going to leave one behind. This soul can tell the story in the afterlife. He was the one who wasn't robbed. He was something special about him. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes come on they're gonna get away hurry boys i'm not quite sure wait a minute where's my wait a minute what, guys what don't don't go without me oh so rude i'm the fastest best shot out of the way there you go. That's uh, that's called asserting yourself. Maybe all oh, this sure looks like their handiwork. Make sense if they took this road. Come on, Marshal. This might be our chance. Okay, look, guys. Why can't you ride as fast as me? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. Oh, is that is what it? Bill Williamson. Is he the guy that's doing all this? Time ago, and bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. How about bigger and we move past the family? Eyes up! You see that? You oh, just the moon rising over the hill. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! Okay, the boys are having a bit of a slow reaction there. That's fine by us. We're gonna need the repeater for this. Okay, well I don't mind it trying this. Whoa, whoa! I forgot there was. Oh, I just shot the horse. That that's bad karma. Shot this guy's hat off and the fence panel. Oh, that was a nice detail. Fence panel, then his head. There's something moving there, but I can't quite... Oh, there it is. Yep, a dead man's head. Alright, let's try this again. Might be able to pick a few of them off like this. You see, it's, it's doing it itself. That is not me. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, I don't think this... It might be the way the PC game is built with a controller. It's just... it's. It's not quite right. Oh, that's him himself, isn't it? Right, back, back, back down. 
That's the man himself. Who seems invincible. No, not anymore. So, aiming from cover, you always get a shot on. Hey, look what I got here! <laughs> this something makes you still breathing! Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie! Give! <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Oh, Fuck you. so we haven't got Bill yet, then? Hog time. Just Norman. Jail. Bill's gone running away. That's so he said, "Go, go, deal with them, boys." What he meant was, "You, you die, and I'll run away." People have taken notice of your honourable actions. Jobs in towns pay twice as much. Alrighty then. Right, before we, before we, this is the thing. Never ever miss out on looting the dead bodies because you you get all of the rounds uh, from all the guns plus all the cash. It's, it's it's by far the easiest way of getting stuff. I'm so sorry. I think I shot this horse, but I'm not going to let it go to waste. <laughs> we'll take the pelt and the meat and the blood spatter on the camera just because it's a really good effect and um, well alright most of the meat we didn't like those bits those bits those bits we didn't want yes yeah, so I want I, I would like to be able to skip that loot animation if I could but uh, a biggie it would just be a nice thing to the victor, to spoil. There are some of them. Some of them are so damn slow, though. Right, two more to go, and then we can move on. We've also got to keep an eye out for where they drop their guns. They're not always right next to the body. Right there. Well, I think that will do. Anything special about this place? Absolutely not. Oh, look, we got a train. I know, wasn't it? Wasn't I? Wasn't I able to to holler the for the train? Do I whistle for the train? Stop! 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 No! Don't! Oh my God! I nearly killed the horse. I'm so tempted to try and jump on it, but I know I'll die. Let's try and catch up. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. But at least we saw the train today. We can ride on that thing. Um, <laughs> I realised it was the stagecoach that we could whistle to stop. It wasn't the train. That was a silly thing to do. Wasn't it? Don't answer that question. We all know the answer. Yeah. All right. I mean, in most westerns, they ride into the sunset. I'm riding straight into the sunrise. What's going on here? Okay, fire John. Fire John. Anything else? Were there people that I was supposed to have saved here? And I've just messed up. Excuse me, mister. I'm not quite sure. Okay, but we have got a a, a crate. Open container, open container. So they were, they, I mean, certainly they were trying to rob me, but I don't know if there was people, hostages here to sort of save. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Oh, well, it's done now, isn't it? I think I only killed like three of them. I think, I think they did kill other people. The swine. Vicious swines. Where are the, where are the two other, oh, is it the horses? Oh, it is. It's the horses. Well, I, I, I'll leave them. I'll leave them be. Oh, look at that! I think I'll take this wagon. Thank you kindly. I'm going cross country, just for a laugh. 
Oh god. It's not funny, is it? Ugh. I mean, it was a free ride. I think we, we, we better get... Oh, God. Better get down onto something a little safer. Let's go. Oh, oh God. Cars and cars don't like the rail tracks. Don't do that again. Right, avoid the rocks and the bushes. Stick to the road. John, you know it makes sense. So we're back at two crows. I should reload my weapon, except I'm I'm in charge of driving right now. Okay, so we've got BS on the map. And they do like their uh their their comedy <laughs> initials, don't they? We had S and M, now we've got BS. I can only imagine what we've got left. Well, I'm heading. I'm heading back to the main town. But actually, I think I'm probably going to call it a day here, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. We got a lot done, but there is so much more to go. So much more. Having that bird. Thank you. I mean, to perfection. Dropped right in front of me. What kind of bird was it, anyway? Oh, it was a hawk. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad when they're like rare birds. I don't even know if I'm if I'm going the right way. I, I better I better study the map. Um, zoom out, zoom out. Go there. Back to Bonnie. Oh yes. Okay, guys. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll make my way back to Bonnie. We can continue the story from her perspective, and I'll see you in the next part. All the best. Take care and good night. I think I'll leave that in. <laughs>